Morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope everybody's doing well. I haven't made a video before work in a while, so I thought it'd be a good time uh, to share a good experience. Last night, I um, was able to get on two meter single sideband for a, a Tuesday evening round table. And I had my first two meter SSB contact on Sunday with the same group, and it has opened up an entire new world for me. So we're gonna show some of that video here in a second. But uh, a couple things I really like about 2 meter SSB is I've noticed for local communications, it seems to get more uh, distance and coverage than FM. I'm actually able to hit a station down in Tucson, and we're just north of Phoenix. So quite a few stations I've been able to hit, um, even stations out in uh, Wickenburg, which are off to our uh, northwest. And uh, I'm running a very, very modest setup with very little power. I'm running 20 watts on my Yesu 857D um, with um, lithium iron phosphate battery power. And uh, really, uh, it's perfect for how I like to operate in the field. But the game changer for me, and I've done one video on this on the channel already, is this prototype from Pactena called the Pactena Trek Mount. And what's nice about it, it's designed to be supported on your trekking pole on the top and if you have like a snow basket you can optionally place that over the top to secure this for moving but what i like about it it's designed to actually support two antenna configurations uh, one is a, a vertical antenna and um, basically there are four b and c connectors here so you can put a vertical with an optional ground plane, or in my case for the two meter SSB work, you can put two BNC antennas that you bring and have a dipole. So for two meter SSB, that is the uh, configuration I went with because I want it to be horizontally polarized. And then on the bottom here, you have the uh, connection for your feed line. So for soda and for MCOM and for my go kits, uh, I'm gonna see if George will actually um, send me another one of these or I'll buy another one because I'm actually loving this. And uh, the antennas I used last night were a bit different than the one I used the first time. Um, I'm actually using the BNC24. These are my normal field antennas and I like them because I can run up to 20 watts. And uh, they're made out of that flexible material that they use for eyewear. Uh, so they pack down really nicely. And this is all I use to basically make contacts across the state last night. Uh, prior to that, I was using two of these um, telescoping whip antennas that George from Pactena sent me, and I found them a little bit more difficult to use. Um, I found that the right length for me to be on frequency was about 18 and 3 quarter inches. Uh, I do carry a small measuring tape, like a sewing measuring tape, um, to help me with the measurements, but ultimately, I just like this because I'm able to run more power and they fit a little bit better in my pack. Um, again, I was really big into MCOM, or I have been big into emergency communications, and I've been really relying on Nivis, uh, basically HF on the lower frequencies, uh, mostly on um, 80 meters up to about 40 meters. And I'm having good luck, but single sideband on two meters with this little kit is actually an incredible tool to have in your toolkit. So I'm still exploring it. In fact, um, I'm going to be a part of this uh, Tuesday and Sunday uh, group, and their check-in is at, I believe, 8 a.m. local time on Sunday. And I'm going to trek up to one of the peaks behind me back here, and I'm going to see if I have luck actually making it into uh, Las Vegas and some of like the bordering states that are also a part of that roundtable. All right, guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Let's take a look at some footage from last night. Hopefully it came out okay. Who knows? It was dark. But uh, yeah, consider two meter single sideband and uh, jump on George's uh, mailing list, the Google group, I'll put it down below. And uh, he's looking for people that are interested in the Pectena Trek mount being a viable product that he can actually manufacture and sell. So again, this one was given to me. It's I believe one of uh, the early prototypes, but I'm loving it and I personally wanna buy a few more for, for my kits. All right guys, take care. Hmm, yeah, that's good. Hey guys, it's the Tech Prepper. It's uh, Tuesday evening around uh, 1900 hours and I'm getting ready for a two meter uh, single sideband net. And I had good luck on uh, Sunday with that net. Uh, the only difference here, I'm trying the uh, Pactena Trek mount and I'm using the uh, BNC24 antennas on each side as a horizontal dipole. 
Uh, in the past, I was actually using these telescoping uh, whips at about 18 and 3 quarter inches, which have worked pretty well for me. But uh, since I've been taking the BNC 24 antennas as my new VHF UHF field antenna, I figured why not try two of them out and see how that works. And we're just going in my man cave here, so I'm going to have to switch modes, but uh, I'll catch you guys inside. All right, we're heading into the man cave here. I've got the uh, Yesu 857D with the feed line going through uh, the window. I'm on uh, 144.200. Uh, this is where people kind of hang out before the net actually starts. And then I'm going to switch over to 144.250 for the actual... Uh, actually, I don't know if it's a net. It's more of a round table. I guess it's a net. Yeah, thanks a lot, Mike, um, and thanks for having me, folks. Like uh, Mike said, this is my uh, first, uh, actually my second single sideband uh, work on two meters. Right now I'm running on uh, battery power on a 4.5 amp hour Biowino battery. And it's, uh, my station is a Yesu 857D running 20 watts. And I'm connected to a new product from a company called Pactena. In fact, it's not even on the market yet. It's a uh, very small... Uh, antenna that will support either a vertical with a ground plane or a dipole and I'm just running a very modest setting off of a trekking pole um, off in the backyard with uh, two BNC 24 antennas and uh, it sounds like I'm able to be heard uh, pretty well and I spend most of my time making YouTube videos uh, in kind of my exploits uh, in amateur radio it's called uh, the tech prepper and uh, I'm typically doing summits on the air activation these days and trekking up a station up a hill uh, so that's pretty much for it for me, guys. Uh, Mike, back to you. Uh, KT1, are you in? All right, guys, I think I'm going to close for the evening, but uh, just a few closing thoughts. Let me just turn down uh, the radio a little bit. Uh, I still call myself a new ham, even though I've been licensed for three years, but I've only been on the air for about 13 months total. And uh, I've documented most of that experience on YouTube and some of the other social media platforms. And I would say, by and large, every single interaction I've had with this community has been fantastic. So this is a huge shout out to you. The 99% of hams that are just great. I've only had a handful of uh, interactions that have not been uh, very pleasant. But um, it's a fun hobby. So as you can see, um, whether you're in the shack, on a mountain, in a park, out here in the RV, doing digital, doing voice, doing CW, this hobby has so much to offer. So I really encourage everybody to get on the air and try out this fantastic hobby. All right, guys. I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong. Be safe and be prepared and there's gonna be a bunch of two meter stuff coming because i'm loving ssb catch you guys later